Uh, hey there, this is Jeremy Vaney, and you are watching me doing what I've been calling a standing meditation, although uh, what's actually happening isn't meditation, um, as I've come to find out, because I'm hooked up to in basically a tricked out EEG, uh, which scans your brain, it monitors your brain, um, it tells you what your brain weight of activity is, it tells you what your uh, both hemispheres of your brain are doing, um, and it tells you whether or not you uh, are coherent. <laughs> uh, whatever the hell that means. But in any event, um, so let's talk about brain waves. Beta brain waves are normal, everyday waking brain waves. Uh, alpha waves are what meditators do. When you're in a meditative state or just a quiet state of calm, uh, you're in an alpha state. Theta waves are when you're drowsy, like when you're daydreaming or just about to fall asleep. And delta waves are basically stages three and four of deep sleep, sort of your REM stages of uh, deep sleep. Um, the right hemisphere of the brain controls creativity, sensitivity, and um, spatial or holistic thinking. And the left hem hemisphere of the brain controls uh, logical, rational thinking. So, you can see on the EEG there, um, at the lower right uh, fourth of your screen, uh, what looks like a graph and then two branching off graphs from it. Um, although right now we've just zoomed into something else, but you can sort of still see it. And the two branching off graphs are the left and right hemisphere of my brain. So when you'll see them start to peak every now and then, that's, that's uh, you know, brain activity in, in one hemisphere. Like, see that white line shooting up from it? Uh, that means something drastic happened in my brain <laughs> um, from the uh, left hemisphere, which means logic and thinking. Which makes sense, because look at me doing this. It looks like I'm doing something that requires thought, even though my claim is I'm not doing it. That's not me doing those movements at all. And it's not something teaching me movements. It's just some other energy that, that sort of takes over the body when I set my will aside. And you'll see proof of that soon enough. Um, the proof that you're going to see is that, well, you won't be able to see this, I don't think, but Masahiro Kahata, the inventor of this machine, um, has explained that what he's looking at is my brain waves going into the delta state, uh, which means <laughs> stages three and four of deep sleep, which, if you look at me, uh, my eyes are open most of the time, and uh, I'm nowhere near asleep. So how is that possible? Um, what else do you need to know? I think that's really it. Just uh, pay attention to what happens on that computer screen. Right now you're seeing sort of normal brain wave activity with every now and then it's spiking dramatically on one side of the brain, but watch what happens to both sides, both hemispheres of my brain. Um, and Masahiro also says that uh, this indicates to him, um, the totality of it, that uh, I'm using about 10% more of my brain capacity than normal in the 20 minutes that I was doing this. Um, now I've edited this down so you're not seeing, you know, uh, the first 10 minutes, but you're seeing the final 10 minutes, which is um, sort of drastic. And I'm sorry that I'm a fat guy in a bad haircut, by the way. That's kind of uh, horrible even for me to watch. Now, let me just say one more time, pay close attention to that monitor because it's going to spike, uh, you know, a little bit there to the left. You're seeing it spike quite a bit, actually. Um, and when Brian, who's doing camera, my roommate Brian, um, you know, closes in on that monitor and we watch it for a good long time, you're going to be looking at it and being like, oh, okay, this is interesting. I mean, things are spiking here and there. But by the end of it, it's just like, holy crap. I mean, just amazing. Um, so again, this demands study. I don't know what this is in my body that's doing this. Um, if you look at it right now, that's just normal thought. Those little green dots that you're seeing, that little pattern, that's just normal uh, thought. And anything that spikes up is, um, is different. <laughs> so let's, let's see what's different, shall we?
Did that do anything? You're gonna be what? Sore tomorrow. Is that, does you always, often get sore after you, uh... Well, just because I don't, you know, with three roommates, I don't do this <laughs> all oh. too often anymore, so. I used to do it a lot. For some reason, we all had different schedules. Now it seems like there's always someone there, so I don't really do this that much anymore. And as a result, and other factors, like Ben and Jerry's, massively <laughs> out of shape. I love that cinnamon buns. Mmm, cinnamon buns.